Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we are going to assemble Xiaomi 11T. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool, carefully insert it into the hole and push out the card tray. By the way, it is located at the bottom. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. To do this, we use a heating mat. You can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detach the back cover. To detach the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. We carefully insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and run it along, cutting off the adhesive base. So we detach the back cover. As we can see, we have nothing on the back cover. Then we proceed to unscrew the screws at the top. For this, we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash trio. We unscrew the screws and place them on a special surface. After that, we need to detach the cover with antenna transmission lines that hides motherboard. For this, we use a non-metallic tool. We have to pry up the cover in the right place. Please note, we have the flashlight element connected by a connector to the motherboard in the middle. We detach the cover and also with a non-metallic tool, we disconnect the two battery connectors. Then, we proceed to unscrew the screws at the bottom. For this, we use also a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash trio. It is also better to place the screws on a special surface in a certain order, just in case. After removing the screws, we need to detach the cover with a loudspeaker. We carefully hook the cover by the edge. We see that we also have a small antenna board on the cover. To remove the cover, we need to disconnect the coaxial cable. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector on the motherboard, release the cable and remove the cover with a loudspeaker. And we disconnect the connectors on the motherboard and subboard and remove the interboard cable to the side. On the interboard cable, the arrow shows the direction to the motherboard. After that, we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the subboard. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector and release the cable itself so that it doesn't get in our way. We disconnect the display connector. We disconnect the interboard cable connector. And we can try to detach the subboard. We need to find the right place where we can gently pry lift and remove the subboard. It is not always easy or obvious to find the right place, so we try prying the subboard in different places. And we take the subboard out. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, undercover, card connector and other elements on the back side. In our traditionally small test, we take a tool, insert it into the microphone hole. The hole in the display frame has an L shape. The body of the microphone is located on the opposite side of the microphone hole. Accordingly, if we insert any tool into this hole, we will not be able to damage the microphone. After that, we move on to disconnect the interboard cable connector. Disconnect the connector to the side buttons. Disconnect the connector and leave the front camera and peel off the copper heat dissipating foil. After that, we can detach the rear cameras. We carefully hook the connectors and leave the cameras up always holding the camera slightly so that they don't fall out. The cameras may be glued, so we need to be really careful. 
and we can also disconnect the remaining coaxial cable connector. And we need to disconnect the connector of the large rear camera, which we have firmly glued to the display frame. After that, we find the right place where we can hook up and detach the motherboard. So now we need to unglue the large camera. We carefully pick up the base and try to lift and unglue the large rear camera. We don't have to use force, so we don't damage the camera. And we carefully unglue the camera. We will keep the adhesive tape because we will need it for a while. Well, we can also detach the earpiece speaker. First, we need to detach or unglue the contact pad. We gently hook it on the base, unglue the pad and try to lift and remove the speaker. We need to find the right place where we can pry gently lift and remove the speaker. The ERP speaker is also glued in place. And finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We traditionally have the two brown tabs with the letters A and B, which we need to unfold, read the description, and accordingly repeat everything that is specified in the description. So we unwrap the tabs. As we can understand from the description, we have to unfold the tab in the middle and the white tab which we have on the edges. Pull it up and remove the battery. And we have removed the battery. Under this battery we have a transparent protective coating that protects the cables. So that is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.